First section, take A. Take A. A. Sorry. Skirmish company, prepare to advance. Take A. Fire. Advance. Look at that. Bleak right. We are incorporating people from Canada in this. And you don't very often see that. We have guys coming from six hours away to be part of this because their ancestors fought and died here. And uh, not only that, but it's a winter battle. You have very, very, very few battles in history that were fought in the winter, and certainly not under conditions like that. Not really much was accomplished by the War of 1812. We like to say in our interpretation that, you know, there, uh, there really were no winners. Everything went way to the, back to the way it was. But there were losers, and those were the Native Americans. And that's a major part of what happened here, too. So all of that is why we come here to remember. Hello, my name is Jerry Fogel from Dundee. I'm a Native warrior. And I do this partly because I'm a history buff, partly because the Natives don't get much recognition. They need somebody to say that they were here. To me, that's the cool thing, is we're, we're about in the same kind of conditions these guys were in. And, you know, when you're looking at where we are right in this parking lot, this is where part of the battle was, all the way down to the uh, Mason Run Creek there. So, you know, you can imagine, uh, you're, uh, what is it, 198 years ago, mm -hmm. <laughs> this is what it was like, just sitting here. And those guys from Kentucky, um, I look at those guys over there, they would have been barefoot because their shoes had worn out. Maybe they'd have some uh, wool wrapped around them or something, but man, it I've got everything you can imagine on today, <laughs> and, and I'm still off.